Hello there, this is Dabson Ishmael. Let's take a look at how to apply a parallax effect to an image in a layer in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So as you can see, this is a parallax effect image in a layer. So when I begin to scroll, you realize this particular image begins to move slowly. So that's the parallax effect. Now let's go to WYSIWYG Web Builder and see how we can achieve that. So uh, this is my WYSIWYG Web Builder. I'll go to Toolbox and the Toolbox I'll now I'll scroll to that is a uh, Advanced under Advanced I'll click on Layer. I'll draw in an empty space in the canvas. I'll double click on it, go to style. I'll change, I'll make sure I change the border to none. That is the width is also going to be zero. I'll go to general and I'm going to go to alignment. I'll change the alignment to center. And the under mode, we are going to have this that's relative for horizontal sizing to we check it. And now we come back to style. Under style, we are going to click on the background mode, click on the drop down arrow and select image. Now let's click on the browse icon and select the image we want to use. So I'm going to go ahead to select the image I'll be using. In my case, I'm going to use this particular image. Now under repeat, we are going to leave it as a test. And our horizontal, we are going to change this to center. We change the vertical to center as well. Now under size, that is the most important aspect. You click on the drop down arrow and all you need to do is select parallax. Go ahead and click on OK. Now let's change the size of this particular layer to 970 pixels by 531, so 531 or 530 and hit on enter. I'll move it to hit this particular section, that's the edges of my canvas. I'll now go ahead to apply some test. The test is going to help our parallax effect in this, to this image and this layer going to be visible. So I'll go ahead to my toolbox. I'll scroll to advance and click on test. I'll draw on an empty space in my canvas and I'll double click on it, highlight the text and populate this with 10 paragraphs. So I'll go ahead and move this here, expand it a little bit and reposition it. That's right. Click on it, go to center and page and select horizontal. So now let's go ahead and preview this in our browser. I'll go ahead and hit on F5. And as you can see, we have our image here. Now, when I begin to scroll, you realize the parallax effect has been applied to the image and the layer. So this is how to achieve uh, a parallax effect to an image and a layer. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.